Top 10 Hacks to Save Money After more than 8 years of living on a budget, our family has had a ton of experience when it comes to developing better money habits. During that time, we've discovered and tested a ton of budget and money hacks that helped us stop living paycheck to paycheck. After lots of trial and error, we were able to finally pay off debt and make saving money a priority. Although we don't always stick to our budget, we are still human. We've learned how to get back on track before the month ends. They will help you take back control of your finances so that you can reach your money goals and live the life you've always dreamed of. Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel, Dr. Rules. Today we're going to be discussing some money-saving tips that you can apply at home. But before starting the video, be sure to sandwich the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Tip 1. Unplug electricals before leaving home. Unplugging electricals before leaving home can help you save money on your electricity bill. Many devices continue to use standby power even when they're turned off, so unplugging them can help you avoid unnecessary energy usage. Examples of devices that you can unplug include televisions, gaming consoles, chargers, and other electronics. You can also use power strips to make it easier to turn off multiple devices at once according to some estimates. This can result in savings of around $100 per year for the average household. Tip 2. Check Google Maps before leaving home. Checking Google Maps before leaving home can help you save time and money on gas. Before heading out on a trip, you can use Google Maps to check the best route to take, including information about traffic and estimated travel times. This can help you avoid getting stuck in traffic or taking longer routes that waste gas. Additionally, Google Maps can help you find the most efficient way to reach your destination, including using public transportation or carpooling. The exact amount of money saved will vary based on individual circumstances, but it can potentially add up to hundreds or even thousands of dollars per year. Tip 3. Set up automatic savings. Setting up automatic savings refers to scheduling automatic transfers from your checking account to a savings account regularly, such as weekly or monthly. This is a great way to save money because it's automatic and requires little effort on your part once it's set up. You can choose how much money you want to transfer each time, and it can be as little or as much as you can afford. By setting up automatic savings, you'll be able to grow your savings account over time without even thinking about it. According to a study by Bankrate, individuals who set up automatic savings save an average of $8,000 per year. Tip 4. Buy generic. Buying generic refers to purchasing generic or store brand products instead of name brand products. Generic products are often just as good as name brand products but are usually much cheaper because they don't have the same marketing and advertising costs. Generic products can be found at most grocery stores, drug stores, and retailers. They can include food items, cleaning supplies, personal care products, and more. Some studies have shown that consumers can save around $1,000 to $1,500 per year by buying generic products instead of branded products. Tip 5. Use public transportation or carpool. Using public transportation or carpooling refers to using shared modes of transportation instead of driving alone in your car. Public transportation includes buses, trains, and subways, while carpooling involves sharing a ride with co-workers or friends who are traveling in the same direction as you. By using public transportation or carpooling, you can save money on gas, parking fees, and vehicle maintenance costs. Additionally, you'll be helping to reduce traffic congestion and air pollution, which benefits the environment. The average annual savings for a person who switches from driving alone to taking public transportation in the United States is over $9,000 per year. Tip 6. Negotiate bills. Negotiating bills refers to asking your service providers, such as your phone, internet, cable, or insurance company, for a better rate or discount. Many service providers offer promotional rates or discounts to new customers, but these rates may expire after a certain period, leaving you with a higher bill. By negotiating with your service providers, you may be able to get a lower rate or discount on your bill, which can help you save money over time. You can call your service providers and ask if there are any promotions or discounts available or if you're not satisfied with the response you get from the customer service representative, you can ask to speak to a supervisor or manager. Be polite and explain your situation and ask if they can offer you a better rate or discount. Negotiating a lower rate on a cable or internet bill could result in savings of $240-$600 per year. Tip 7. Use coupons and discount codes. Using coupons and discount codes refers to using special offers and promotions to save money on your purchases. Coupons can be found in newspapers, magazines, online or in-store and can offer discounts on specific products or a percentage off your total purchase. Discount codes are similar to coupons but are typically used when shopping online. They can be found on retailer websites, coupon websites, or through promotional emails. 
By using coupons and discount codes, you can save money on everyday purchases, such as groceries, clothing, and household items, as well as big-ticket items like electronics or travel. Consumers who use coupons and discount codes can save an average of $30 or more per week, which adds up to $1,560 or more per year. Tip 8. Cook at home. Cooking at home refers to preparing meals at home instead of eating out or ordering takeout. Eating out or ordering takeout can be convenient, but it can also be expensive and unhealthy. By cooking at home, you can save money on food costs and have more control over the ingredients and nutrition in your meals. Additionally, cooking at home can be a fun and rewarding activity, and you can experiment with new recipes and flavors. To save time, you can plan your meals and prep ingredients ahead of time. You can also make larger batches of meals and freeze them for later use. Cooking at home can also be a social activity, and you can invite friends or family over for a home-cooked meal instead of going out to eat. However, on average, cooking at home can save you around $2,000 to $3,000 per year compared to eating out regularly. Tip 9. Cut down on unnecessary expenses. Cutting down on unnecessary expenses refers to reducing or eliminating expenses that are not essential to your daily life. This can include things like entertainment subscriptions, dining out, impulse shopping, and other non-essential purchases. By cutting down on these expenses, you can save a significant amount of money and redirect those funds towards more important things such as paying off debt, building up your savings, or investing in your future. To cut down on unnecessary expenses, you can create a budget and track your spending to see where your money is going. From there, you can identify areas where you can cut back and find ways to reduce your spending. This may involve finding free or low-cost alternatives to expensive activities or finding ways to entertain yourself at home. Additionally, you can avoid impulse purchases by waiting a day or two before making a purchase and considering whether it's truly necessary or important. However, it's hard to estimate an exact amount since it varies from person to person, but it's safe to say that it could result in savings of hundreds or even thousands of dollars per year. Tip 10. Make a budget. Making a budget refers to creating a plan for your income and expenses, so you can effectively manage your finances and reach your financial goals. A budget can help you prioritize your spending, avoid overspending, and ensure that you have enough money to cover your expenses each month. To make a budget, you should start by calculating your income, which includes your salary or wages, any freelance or side income, and any other sources of income. However, it is estimated that creating and sticking to a budget can help you save between 20% to 30% of your income. For example, if your annual income is $50,000, you could potentially save between $10,000 to $15,000 per year by making a budget and sticking to it. Thank you for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.